Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new episode of uh, Jeff Gordon Drive for Five. You might be wondering, where's Dover? Well, uh, basically, I recorded Dover when Championship Mode was glitched, which I'm sure many of you are aware of that it was glitched uh, last week. So basically, I spent the whole race crashing, so there was absolutely uh, no point in showing that one, so I decided we're not going to do that, and we're just going to go right to Talladega. So basically, like I said, I spent the whole race crashing because of this glitch that made the car really loose. So we come into this race, four points out is Jeff Gordon here for Talladega so obviously some work to do but Talladega a track that I think uh, you know Jeff Gordon had quite a bit of success at uh, especially in the earlier years maybe like the 2000s of his career I think he had what six wins at this racetrack I know he won over in, uh, here I think his last win was 2007 at Talladega now as we get ready though to go green I did attempt to qualify but we start P39 we actually qualified 40th but Jimmy Johnson beside us obviously got sent to the bank as the green flag though is out in the air and we are underway here at Talladega Super Speedways Jeff Gordon trying to get ourselves into that round of eight but like I said coming in four points out because of Dover uh, I recorded that uh, episode when it was glitched I didn't know that it was glitched at the time so obviously if I would have known that I would have waited uh, so that was a bit of a mistake on my part but like I said I, I basically the car started off really tight at Dover and after about six laps or so it basically went to wrecking loose every single corner no matter what I did I, the car was I put the wedge up to probably almost 55 and the car was still wrecking loose after a handful of laps so there was nothing I could do we spent the whole race like I said crashing so I decided there was absolutely no point making a video out of that we're just going to come straight to Talladega now as we come through at a turns four moving our way forwards obviously like I said we come into this race now because of that uh, glitch at Dover four points out so we have a lot of work to do we need to get every point that we possibly can in these first few stages that's going to be extremely important for us here as we hit 12 laps to go completing the opening lap here in Talladega but now using this inside here behind the 95 of Matt Benedetto as we had Joey Gase on my outside but I would continue following Matt Benedetto and the one bike car for our Barstool Sports uh, and the caution actually would come out here a few laps later so that would uh, obviously set us up for a restart as we would be running at this point P25 as you would get re uh, ready to go green no one came to the pit line so we get right back into the action here as the green flag once again is out and now in Talladega so obviously P25 uh, about halfway through this first stage so still some work to do seven to go in stage one we got to move our way forwards as quickly as possible because we need all those stage points now as we come through turns one and it turns two for the first time here today and there since this restart at least now as we come through still behind that 95 to benedetto i really love that paint scheme that benedetto was running as we actually almost hook him there as we head down this back straightaway that's got to be one of my favorite paint schemes of the season here with barstool sports now as we come through those six laps to go at this point the stage slowly but surely just inching our way forwards and as we came through now on lap 10 of 13 in the stage up into p13 here as we look to the inside of matt de benedetto making some moves so we finally leave him we basically drove behind him for the first opening 10 laps or so of this race now as we come through uh, passing mcmurray and now we would come through to get inside the top 10 as we started now the white flag of the stage up to p7 as we came through into turns one and at turns two for the final time of this first and opening stage denny hamlin actually leading the way as we exit turn two heading down this back straightaway Corey LaJoy on my outside as we just about get into the back of our teammate Chase Elliott I could have went to the inside of him but it decided since Elliott being a Hendrick Motorsports teammate we're gonna be nice with him and help him out on this final lap of this stage as we go down through turn three they're going three wide for that second position up ahead and that's gonna hurt the momentum of some of the lanes uh, above us and that allows us to move forward as you see in our rear view mirror passing LaJoy uh, Kurt Busch the 21 of Menard now as we head down this front straightaway into the trial Jones looks to the inside of Hamlin as they come through the trial the line would have been back there at Daytona but now they got a few more moments to come through but Hamlin he still holds on to the stage victory Jones second Elliott third and we come through to get P4 in the stage so some very solid stage points for us that's going to help us out uh, in that deficit that we built up in Dover so we would bid for two cans of fuel as well as four tires and get ready to go green and start the second stage here in Talladega. The middle race, obviously, of this round of 12 is a very important one as it's not a good restart for myself. As we've seen this before in this game where when I sometimes uh, shift up into the second gear on a restart, the car just uh, fails to go. And I'm not sure if that's just a problem on my end that I'm doing something wrong sometimes or that's just something with the game. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe leave it in the comments if you guys have... 
I dealt with this before, but as soon as I went into second gear, the car just stalled out right there on me, and it's happened multiple times uh, since I've been playing this game, and I, I haven't done anything different than I did on the opening restart of this race uh, when I shifted up into second, so it's something weird. It's almost like it's a random little thing that happens now as we come through turn three, so we completely blow all these positions that we had away, and now we find ourselves outside of the top ten as we exit turn four. Here's Jeff Gordon heading down this front straightaway, trying to keep this drive for five alive and it's going to require a very strong effort here in stage two and a strong finish in the race now as we come through to complete this opening lap of the second stage behind the 13 of Ty Dillon. We're going to try and get aggressive and go 3-1 up the middle between Dillon and Paul Menard in the 21 cars who come through the center of turns one and turns two getting to the inside of the 20 as well of Eric Jones. I don't know if, uh, what his position is right now in the playoffs now as we go down this back straight. I don't even know if he's still in the playoffs now as we come through. Still 3-1 though up the middle. Now we're going to get between LaJoy and Austin Dillon here behind the 34 of Michael McDowell now as it looks like Chase Elliott he's that lone car on the bottom actually taking the lead from I believe Denny Hamlin as we come through the center of the corner getting on that right rear of Pominar trying to give him a little bit of a side draft as we go down this front straightaway here on lap 2 of 10 in the second stage of the inside of Kurt Busch so still 3 wide up the middle we've been 3 wide up the middle for over a lap now or so as we would clear the one of Kurt Busch though and then we would fade in for a brief moment behind the 34 of McDowell but we would continue on this outside lane as we came through on that lap 6 of 10. Now actually getting in behind Kurt Busch who had gotten ahead of me running P11 at this point. With 4 to go but the caution comes out and now the stage ends so we don't get any stage points there and that could be a hit to us as that was certainly not what we needed. Uh, we couldn't find what brought out that caution but obviously that's going to be some points uh, lost for us as we would have to come to the pit lane here before the start of stage 3. We actually lost two positions on the pit lane now as the green flag is back in the air and the third and final stage here in Talladega is underway certainly got some work to do now as we go down towards turns one in this third and final stage here at Talladega, the middle race of the round of 12. Can we win our way in as Jeff Gordon into the round of eight? We still haven't won with him yet uh, here in this little drive for five series. I think we've been close a couple times, I think, at Richmond. Maybe it was or Las Vegas. But now as you come through down this back straightaway, you saw Bubba Wallace with a ton of momentum just driving right past me on the right-hand side. And as well as Paul Menard got in uh, ahead of me as we went down into this third turn. Ty Dillon and Ricky Stanos Jr. behind us. We look to the inside of the 32 of Corey LaJoy and we clear him as we exit turn four. Now Paul Menard just trying to move up to that middle lane. Now as we head down towards this triangle, not enough momentum to get to his inside, but there you see Kevin Harvick on that far outside now as we come through to complete this opening lap of this third and final stage here. 21 laps to go in Talladega, and if we can just get up inside this top 10 like this right here, we moved our way up into P8, now P7, making some moves up this inside there. Ryan Newman now to the inside of Martin Truex Jr. as we hit uh, that this point, approaching 19 laps to go as Chase Elliott's on this outside to look to the inside of him. At this point, I could have tried to help Elliott, but I was just trying to focus on moving our way forwards here in the final 19 laps of this race. We come through now with uh, now 18 to go, pushing Bubba Wallace at this point out front as we had continued to move our way forwards on this inside lane. So we push Bubba Wallace out to the lead. Now there's actually trouble behind us in turn three. The 52 goes spinning, and now that collects Truex, but no really real damage done to Truex, but the uh, 52 of Cody Ware has taken some heavy hits as a caution, obviously, comes out and we would come through to not make a pit stop and get ready to go green from P3. Bubba Wallace and Matt Benedetto on the front row as the green flag is back out here in Talladega. Behind us is the 21 of Pulmonar. Chase Elliott joins us on the second row. 14 laps to go at this point. And look at this. We got the 21 of Menard actually uh, catching me a little bit off guard. We got caught sleeping on that restart. He gets to the inside. Now we're three wide up the middle, losing spots real quick as we come through. But thankfully, we get to the inside behind Matt Tiff there as I just got completely caught off guard. I was following Bubba Wallace in front of me and I had no idea that the 21 of Pominard was actually going lower instead of following us, so he completely caught me off guard. We got hung out three wide in the middle, unfortunately, but now we're working our way back forward. We at least held on to a top 10 position as we're on the inside of Chase Elliott, so we didn't really lose too much, thankfully, as we look to the inside as well as our teammate of Alex Momon and Matt Benedetto as we exit turn four. Terrible momentum for the 95 of Matt Benedetto as Ryan Blaney is up there in that second position as we come through the triangle, and it looks like Blaney's going to make a move to the inside 
outside of Bubba Wallace, obviously we know they're pretty much best friends in real life, and Blaney's gonna make that move as we look to the inside of Matt Tift into this first corner, trying to get to the inside of the 43 as well as we carry a bunch of momentum through the center of the corner, and all of a sudden we find ourselves back in second place now as we exit turn two, clearing the 43 of Bubba Wallace, and we would stay behind this 12 of Ryan Blaney for quite some time. I had struggled to build up enough of a run to make a pass on him. We come through now on 10 laps to go, and it's actually kind of spread out almost up here now as we are actually coming through to make green flag pit stops, I should mention. At this point in the race, we overtake the 12 of Ryan Blaney into the pit lane and get slowed down here just in time as I thought I was going in a little bit too hot, but he actually hits me in the bumper there as we enter pit road, but we would come through to put some fuel in the car. I decided we weren't going to take any tires. It's Talladega. We don't need to take any tires, uh, so it's just a 9.8 second pit stop as well as I did repair the damage on the back bumper here on the car as we would get back in front of Ryan Blaney here as we come through towards the exit of the pit lane. So obviously a bunch of cars there behind us as you see that followed us into the pit lane here with nine laps to go in Talladega. We have a chance maybe to win if we play our cards right. Blaney's actually trying to overtake us as we come through turns one and turns two and he had a ton of speed. He was actually able to get um, ahead so he powered right on by us so we would actually fall behind the 12 here of Ryan Blaney and we would actually come through back obviously rejoin with some of the pack we'd gotten to Kyle Busch and here you see Ryan Truex actually leading in front of us here in that 71, or not necessarily leading, Cody Ware still out on the track, now as we come through P5 right now behind the 12 of Blaney, so at this point, just waiting for everything to cycle through, but now the caution comes out with seven laps to go, and the front two have to pit, and this is going to set us up in P3 for the restart. We get right back into the action now as a green flag is out here behind Ryan Truex and Ryan Blaney on the front row. They lead the way as it's just three laps to go so far here in Talladega behind us. We got 18 of Kyle Busch as we go down into turns one. Obviously, we need to stay in line right now behind that 71 of Truex to get ourselves clear of that 12 of Blaney. And once we get clear of Blaney, it's all on us to try and make a move to take that lead. But Blaney's trying to clear us as we exit turn two. We're going to have to try and side draft him maybe as we go down this back straightaway. Sure enough, we're going to try and get towards his left rear, but not too heavy of a side draft now, as Truex is driving away. Now, Martin Truex Jr. gets to my outside as we go down towards turn 3, but the momentum has stalled on the 12, and now we get ahead of Ryan Blaney as we go down into turn 3. We clear him for the second position now, as we would not be able to quite pass Ryan Truex now, as we come through with 2 to go at this point in the race, approaching the final lap here in Talladega. At this point, we're having a great points day now in Talladega, but I don't really care. I want to go and win ourselves into that round of 8, so now we start the final Final lap here in Talladega Super Speed. We're going to look to the inside there of Ryan Truex as we come through turns one. Kyle Busch behind us. We don't have a whole lot of help right now as he's kind of separated as now Truex is on our right rear and he slows their momentum now as we exit turn two, heading down the back straightaway for the final time. And behind us is the spinner of Daniel Suarez who goes towards the inside while Truex is in front and the caution comes out and the race is finished. Truex barely had us beat. As the caution came out, if that caution would have came out four or five seconds earlier, we would have been the winner. And unfortunately, we just lost that race because of that. Obviously, I think if it would have stayed green, we would have had the advantage over Truex. But that was certainly unfortunate as now we're going to have to fight our way in to this round of eight on points instead of winning our way in. So that's very unfortunate. I looked back and I saw the 41 spinning. But there it is right there. We're 14 points to the good after Talladega. So at least we know we have a decent points gap that we can work with. So as always, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Those would all be very appreciated. So in the next one, we go to Kansas where we decide the eight drivers that will remain in the playoffs. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching, everyone, and have a great day.